Right, I want to take you now to the Free State. The asbestos case is back in court. Uh, suspects appearing today. Palessa Moyeti is live for us today. Palessa, very good morning to you. What's the latest? Well, we're standing outside the Bloemfontein Magistrate Court where the court case involving the former MEC of Human Settlement, Mayor Olim Lam Lely, um, has just been postponed to the 19th of February. Outside now, outside of the court, uh, supporters, her supporters, obviously, as well as free staters, um, but also disgruntled ANC members. We're just going to talk to some of them to hear what their reaction to the developments here are. Uh, right now joining us is Topita Mukhele. You are a supporter of Olim Lamleli. Um, previously, your position was that this whole case is a political ploy. What's your, what's your comment today? Uh, we still stand firm and believe that uh, we believe in the judiciary system of South Africa and therefore we still maintain that uh, we support the leader of ANC irrespective of uh, the outcome. The outcome will be determined by, 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 by the court but for us what we are doing we are supporting the leader and as far as we know uh, 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 the executive mayor I've worked with her for many years. She has never been corrupt, and we still maintain that she's not yet corrupt. The court will determine. The court will, will just give the verdict. But we are saying that we know very well that uh, just uh, wait and see. Uh, the outcome will be different. That's what I'm saying. But we still believe that uh, 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 he's going to be innocent. Thank you very much, sir, for talking to us. Now we're going to talk to the other group. and. Their position is that those that are corrupt must face the full might of the law. Now to talk to us right now is Kobim Pim Kajon. Just tell us, sir, what, what is your position? How do you feel about what's happening? Uh, we, as the ordinary people of the free state, we stand on the side of the people. Free state has been a paradise of corruption for a long time under the leadership of Amakashul. Now we believe that the time has come for those who are corrupt to face the might of the law. We say the time has come for the corruptees and the corruptors to be arrested. We say Oli must be arrested, Makajila must be arrested, and, and uh, Musebe Zizwani must be arrested. Now is the time for them to go to jail. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Now we're going to be joined by Mpolisi Dukwana. He's the, one of the former MECs here in the Free State. Um, a lot has happened since then. Today, you are leading a group that is now marching against, you know, corruption in the Free State. You've always been firm that people need to be prosecuted. Let's talk about today. What's happening? Today, it's a, it's a journey. Uh, by members of the community and activists of the ANC where we actually say enough is enough. Uh, we are here with also our parents who are actually staying in these houses, these asbestos houses. Uh, and we are actually trying to tell every person that uh, corruption has victims. Uh, these people who are taking monies that do not belong to them. Uh, look the suffering that these people are causing to innocent people. And uh, these are the people uh, many of us vow to, to stand uh, for. And uh, uh, when people took offices, they take a vow, an oath of office, to be conscientious in what they're doing. And that means to make sure that whatever they do, uh, they do it diligently and efficiently. And there is nothing efficient and there's nothing diligent about what happened uh, with regard to the asbestos saga. It actually demonstrates that our government uh, lowered the bar big time and also participated uh, because they were the people who were asking uh, uh, monies from the, the people who benefited from this. Thank you very much. That is the former MEC of Economic Development, Mkolisi Dukwana. Now he said that he's actually today they're putting faces to the whole asbestos saga and they brought some of the grannies here that are staying in the house. Hmm, it's unfortunate that we lost the link. Uh, to Palessa that, but we'll try to get her back. Uh, I just wanted to find out from her uh, if the prosecutor in court um, 
gave us any other further information about any other things that will be added to the indictment as well. Um, so we'll stand by, we'll try to get Palissa back on the line and get you an update with regards to that case. All right, let's take a quick break. I'll get you more news.